Hey, 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 folks. Uh, a lot has happened since the trading pub on Thursday, and uh, <coughs> I thought I would uh, get in on it uh, or uh, give a little update because, uh, yeah, there's been a whole bunch of trades going on. Um, so let's start off with a quick look at the market before we go any further, just to get a little feel of what's going on. Uh, annoyingly, I've alphabetized um, my thing, so I've, normally I go to the end to find out uh, what's going on with this, um, various bits of bobs. So I'm going to have to find So the VIX is still falling. Um, that's relevant for today. Let's look at the dollar. The dollar has actually just spiked. So this is highly indicative that over the next day or two or three, Normally, the lag is between one and, I would say, five days. Between one and five days, we should start seeing falling of stocks and therefore also uh, uh, negative pressure on cryptos. Um, I'm inc hesitant to say um, negative or uh, falling of crypto because I think some crypto are decoupling from um, the established or the locally established uh, correlation. So um, I'm very tentative and cautious uh, about stuff at the moment. As you can see, um, with some stocks, again, a bit of indecision there, but this this dolly, dolly, dollar pump is coming right at the end of a big old move up. T do with that as you will. As you can see, oil has already hit the, hit the brakes. Um, and I got stopped out of that. Uh, I had an oil trade which was in loads of profit on FXCM, completely forgot about it. Um, and I stopped off, stopped out for I think something like a 10 grand loss or something. So that's that S&P 500. <laughs> I still smell bullshit. Um, yeah, and then the Nasdaq. Just, yeah, uh, just be careful. Now let's have a look at Bitcoin. Bitcoin, Bitcoin, Bitcoin. So we established scenario one didn't play out. We it's now fair to say that scenario two has also not played out. There we go. Scenario three, folks. This is what. Um, yeah. So I would be very cautious in ignoring this trend line. So let's just draw this slightly more accurately. Um, let's just. Uh, it depends if you connect it again. Like with all these, do you connect that? As in this low here, or this low? The real answer is that you do both. Um, so there's going to be, as I said, all these trend lines are going to be big fat miles bars. But it gives you a rough sort of um, rule of thumb. Where did I draw it last? Sorry. Uh, let's move this. Uh, da -da -da -da. I think it was the other one, wasn't it? Now you've got to be careful. Yeah, so the reason I'm, I'm defaulting it to this one is because obviously this is first, this is second. Um, so this would have been a key level that got rejected. Uh, it then came back to retest this level. So here, we, this is a bit of a fake out really, um, but this is the better level. Yeah, I, I'm going to draw it from that point there. And you can see it's been reacted to off here and here. Didn't quite reach it for this one here, but the, this horizontal 45k level did get hit. So I think if I was going to extend this, uh, let's extend it to probably the top of this level here. Um, there we go. Now, are we going to get a pullback all the way back down here? Quite possibly, actually. Um, back to 46, yeah. So actually, let's just get rid of this now and draw this slightly more accurately. Um, where do we, 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 we literally, it's followed everything actually. So up here, maybe down. I think that is gonna be a, better representation of it all um, because what this will then do it, it, remember patterns on the markets are like little Russian dolls little ones make bigger ones bigger ones make bigger ones if that makes sense so we would hopefully have a, a move up to um, not 50k but probably about 48 48 and a half somewhere around this sort of uh, resistance level followed by 
a pullback and this pullback should be probably about 50% of of that whole move which then takes us back to this support level for a Kobo um, and by doing so it, it then hopefully creates a bit of a bottom so then we're starting to form you know a shoulder a head another weak shoulder and then before you know it this this second attempt over here creates this inverted head and shoulders um, then we see we could see a bit of shenanigans around here maybe uh, but basically we're gonna that's when we get, get the breakthrough and then we see you know this so we call it 34k to that bum line 30, you know what was that 16 16k so it takes us to um, 60 yeah 66 back up here so we're so if this inverted head and shoulders plays out we're looking basically all you know the the um, these previous highs and what we do from there I'm not sure it's too, it's too early this is I think the most likely scenario now um, and I say all that even though I am fully aware of the bigger picture and the bigger picture is, the, is more of the weekly chart if we were to get rid of that um, it's yeah this double top again I've had that for a while but I think uh, I'm starting to discredit this this double top now. This is far too much of a, a of a I guess a rejection of this this bump this neckline for this to count now. Uh, and in reality, what we're actually seeing is a, a double bottom that's just playing out neckline like so. Boom. Um, so yeah, I'm actually uh, rather bullish, and this also co coincides with uh, on chain. On chain's been bullish for a while, so the yeah, I'm. I'm and in fact, my actions have you know represented that. I'm now pretty much fully back in. Um, so if we go to, I've just posted something in here about my portfolio. Um, I'll read this out. Basically, oh, I won't read it out. Um, I'm almost established, and I've blocked out the actual how much I've got of everything and the the value I've got and stuff because in the past people have it completely ignored my percentage pots. You know, they'd see me putting a million quid into something and go, oh, time's gone all in. But in fact, it's, you know, a much smaller percentage of the pot. So I've got rid of that and, you know, what the yields may or may not do. Um, so really what I want you to look at is what I'm actually doing over here on the left and the percentage of the pot. So this is where we are at the moment as of, you know, five minutes ago, seven minutes ago. Um, but what will actually happen is this very soon probably over the next day or two it's going to be sort of 20% in ohm uh, derivative trading on bybit 20% um, so I'm going to up the pot because it was it's about 15% at the moment I'm going to up it a bit more 20% in the boring pot staking on Binance and Kraken just keeping it simple at the moment that pot is is this so um, dot is part I, I also consider dot and um, part of this pot here um, so yeah, true sand. Yeah, with these, in fact, ignore Kusama. I'm going to put a little bit more on Kusama. You can stake it at 18% on the uh, Kraken, which is lovely. Um, these have uh, I've only put, I think it's like 1.5% in in each, but it's enough that yeah, these are just more capital appreciation plays, and I've maxed out what I can on uh, Binance. So if you go to the earn uh, fiat spot. Um, let's just click that and actually no, earn one. It there we go. So I've staked them as much as I can, um, and I've maxed them all out as as best as I can. Is Avax on that list? I can't remember if I put yeah. It is. Um, so I, I literally cannot stake anymore. Um, and what I've done is I've actually clicked the redeem earlier thing for the Kusama because on, on Kusama it is only giving you know 10 odd percent or something like that so I'm just gonna move my Kusama over to Kraken for the 18 percent much better so that's the boring pot uh, boring pot boring pot um, what else I've got yeah the Osmo Luna Osmo Atom LP tokens again this is more of the saucy pot with the saucy 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 staking um, I got the yeah degenerate stuff. If we go back to, nope. yeah, this is better to look at. Osmo LPs. We've got the Tomb Finance LPs uh, and Axie. So this thirty percent here is really um, the the saucy pot. 
if you were to look at it. So Ohm and the silly APY projects, uh, I guess, are going to be 25%. So that's the sexy pot, these two. Saucy pot is going to be that lot. And the boring pot is this plus, you know, trading. Um, so let's look at the trading. The trading's done all right, actually. Um, so if we go to Bybit, um, as you can see, I put in. So the first trade I did actually was in that um, trading pub, I believe, on Thursday. Hole got filled. Um, when was the first one? I'm quite confused. Da, 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 da. What was this? 24th of March, so four days ago. Yeah, it was Thursday, um, and I've put. I put in um, $440,000 in, um, and it's now 476. So yeah, it's been a nice four days of trading, um, 30 almost 36k in profit so far. Um, I know a lot of people. Some some people are focusing on all the losing trades I've done, but again, like you please get if you're new here and you're so obsessed with hit rate, you're not going to do well on the markets. You need to completely get ignore your your hit rate. It's at, it's utter bullshit. Um, it's all like I, th there's no right or wrong with trading. It's either you're profitable or you're not profitable. Um, and this, yeah, you know, trade speaks for itself. Um, if we look into this um, at the moment as we speak, it's all of the short positions that have been bombed out. So I think we've had about five or six positions that have been bombed out, and the negative ones right now again are the short ones. There's what 10, 15 grand worth of losing money here. What was that? Three, five, four, two, three, one, four. Yeah, about 15 grand's worth of losing trades here at the moment. But then look at the winners. Um, much, much more. Um, as you, as you can see, the, the net result was 35. Um, so let's look at um, the losers. Obviously, we don't really care about the winners. You don't really learn much. A lot of these long trades, you'll see that they don't have any take profits. Um, take prop many of them don't some do some don't um, these are ones I'm just hoping to leave in so for example Ada don't have a take profit because I just want to sit so I think it's going to recover it's had a large slump over the over this bear market but I think it's now starting to clear some space um, same for Mano I think is the other one you know that I, although I think VR real estate and all that sort of stuff is bullshit at the moment the tech is far too young. Um, I think we've got a nice, nice, clear, open skies here for some of these trades. Um, <laughs> even SHIB, <laughs> total shitcoin. But I saw as a mem as I as I text out, uh, you know, this I think I did this the other day. I said that this is going to be a beautiful 10R trade with a stop loss down here. Um, we entered here on that red candle as it's smashing into this base support, and then SHIB has done its thing. Um, Part of me wants to snatch, but um, I'm just going to leave it for, for now. I think, like, if we do enter a full bull market, um, you know, the ship is going to do its bullshit hype thing like it always does, uh, like any of these things like Doge or whatever. So, yeah, I'll uh, have I put a stop on that? Stop. Yeah, I have, and, and I've put that stop up here. So that'd be a nice trade. Oh yeah, so let's look at so Luna. Bad trade. Well, I've actually already been stopped out on Luna. Because I was eyeing up this um falling compression. Um and we busted out, got stopped out, yada yada yada. Uh, yeah, so I've been shorting it and it just doesn't want to play ball. So still shorting it. Um about three and a half grand down at the moment. I entered 9392, 9392, 9392, somewhere up here, yeah, Kobo, I think it's probably this candle actually, I thought it would Kobo back down, evidently, it's just having a little flirt, so I'm still confident, that is a very overt rising compression, uh, in reality, I think maybe the actual support level is this. I think we could see a little bit more rallying up here before seeing some sort of pullback. So I'm going to keep that there. Filecoin, I think, was a fade. Oh, Jesus Christ, what's going on on file? Oh, yeah, 
there we go. So I think it was last night I saw this big ass candle and thought, ooh, 50% pullback. Get in around, what was it, 23? It should be around 23. 23.08, yeah, there we go. Um, yeah, thinking we'd have some sort of pullback. You know me, I like a fade. But we're getting towards resistance, so when does this get stopped out? That's the question. Uh, 26.66666, let's move this over here. So, 26. so I get stopped out of, yeah, 26.66 is up here above the wick there so still got some leeway um, yeah so that can actually still be in profit chilies um, chilies 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 same shizzle I think what was I doing here yeah just slightly overextended uh, smashing into resistance I thought I'd short it um, so that's underwater at the moment and loop ring, ah, okay, loop ring. This is the one I think I've, I've already lost the trade on. Um, yeah, we haven't had a pullback. We had this pullback here, along with two massive high tests. And I thought, right, game on, baby. Um, hasn't pulled back yet. However, we are smashing into uh, resistance, so I'm happy to keep that running. Uh, but yeah, I think that's it for some of these longs. Uh, yeah, uh, E gold we texted out the other day. That's doing all right. It's fifty percent up on that position. So let's have a look at E gold. E E E gold. Yeah, that's done well. Um, we got in one eight eight one eight. I say it's done well. It's it's done all right. Um, the thing I'm um, put. Look at this with sitting on a lovely double bottom now yeah we could have a bit of a reaction to down but there are nice double bottoms happening all over the market at the moment I would look to sure be called one harmony one is another one I looked at yeah that's just going up nicely don't know what that line was about um, so yeah I think I'll be slightly cautious if we Get around here, but again, another double bottom. We could see this actually. Continue. We could have a reaction off this this resistance here, but again, um, 1837. Where have I put my stop? 1837. Yeah, I put my stop around. My take profit around here. I'll probably get back in. And then Cody is the other. So what's Cody doing? It's red. Yeah, it's done well. Cody. There is no take profit, so this must be a longer term thing. Yeah, the reason I got into this, I'm not too worried about this resistance at the moment, is just simply, it's just breaching breaching resistance. Boom, I want to get in. Just let's let it run. Um, yeah, however, the thing is, when Bitcoin pulls back, it's going to, obviously, these trades, I could evaporate, or all of these trades could evaporate. Um, but the handy thing with buy bet <laughs> it has a close all, all button the UI is still pretty shit like I can't see any of the closed positions like as a nice little list um, yeah you have to go around the houses and look at your order history but even then it's just really not good but yes yeah, so that's the trading shizzle where do we go back here um, 18% yeah I think that's it Again, by the way, I'm in Titano. Titano's done awesome for me, but I'm not oblivious to the fact that this could be a rising compression. Um, the, th the thing I'm looking at is this base support. Is it going to breach base support? And I'll just sit in it. Um, it's actually done really, really well, Titano. Um, yeah, so bought in around, sort of, I think it was 15 cents around here. Topped up on this low test here. So around here, topped up again. Um, and I can't put any more in at the moment just because the liquidity is too low. I would like to, um, but interesting to see what happens here. Um, let's look at some of the other stuff. The Tomb Finance, yeah, T-shares broken out. Just going to keep on accumulating um, T-share. Uh, not too fast what it does at the moment. Um, Power Libra, no, not interested. Any else? Um, yeah, so with um, Titano, it could end up like Thor. I'm not 
emotionally attached to this at all. So with Thor, at one point, it looked really good. You know, it's doing its thing. This looks very much like Titano. And once it breaches base support, bang the hell out. So I'm literally just waiting for base support to be breached. Then I'll get the hell out. Um, I think I've got like 1% in heck. This is a bit of a flirt, just under 2% actually. So heck, the reason I got into that one, again, if you know me, you probably gathered, it's because it did, oh, the lines are gone, but it has breached um, a level of resistance. Um, yeah, again, still hitting these, these highs. A lot of coins are hitting some sort of resistance at the moment, so we'll see what happens there, but again. Um, but one thing I must stress is time. If you're still in time, get the hell out of it, honestly. I, I did the forewarning, w oh Jesus, what's going on here? Um, a while back, way, way, way back. I mean, I left Titano, in, uh, sorry, Wonderland in January. I haven't touched it since. Um, and it's just d dead, it's here, it's just deathly. Um, high test glow. that's the one I text out on the 19th of March, about a week and or 10 days ago almost. Um, and that high test followed through. And now we're pulling back, and I think it, it, it could just, ugh, it could just do something like this. Um, not the best drawing, obviously. Still not the best drawing. But yeah, it's just not bullish at all. So that is about it. Now I'm aware, I'm fully aware. There's loads of the chart, loads of other charts I haven't um, traded. But the thing is, you must not again. We're not crypto dogs. We're not trying to chase everything. Um, you, you know, you also you only have so much margin. So, I'm obviously I'm going to be topping up, um, topping up my collateral here because I do want to be able to place more trades. Um, and remember, with the derivatives, I've all of my trades, other than my slip up the other day, are isolated. And what I will be doing is um, instead of using stop losses. Um, I won't because I, won't, I just don't want people to, you know, be able to see. I know, ignore, in fact, just ignore that last bit. Each trade I'll be using isolated uh, leverage and they won't have a stop, but I'll use the liquidation price as the stop loss. Again, if something gets stopped out because it's isolated, it's not going to hurt the whole bag. Um, but I think just by looking at that derivative um, floating profit was 35 we've had a bit of a dip just while talking so maybe the thing that I was concerned about is happening um, as in no hasn't kept in here fair enough things are still breezing up um, ETH yeah okay no when Bitcoin and ETH starts you know reversing then then you need to get worried but uh but yeah that's it hope this helps it really should help um this is this is all i'm doing and um chat soon bye